In today's news, Tito Ortiz claims he fought in the UFC for free. Ortiz recently appeared on the 8JR experiment, where he discussed multiple topics, including fighting in the UFC. There, he revealed that he's the only UFC fighter who fought for free, twice in one night. You can watch the full episode on the 8JR Experiments YouTube channel. The link is in today's video description. I fought as an alternate. I was fought for free. For free? I fought for free. Twice in one night. I fought twice in one night for free. So I didn't- At you, In the UFC? UFC? I was the only UFC fighter in UFC history to fight for free. And I did it because I wanted to see how good I could truly be. I was in college at the time, and I didn't want to lose my scholarship. And uh, if I competed in a sport that had any similarity to wrestling, I would lose my scholarship. So I said, well, coach, can I do it for free? And he looked at me and goes, you're crazy. <laughs> I go, no, I'm competitive. I like to compete. I want to see how good I can do. And it was finished my first fight in 22 seconds. I was in the finals against Guy Metzger, and I was smashing him. And, they put us back on our feet and he caught me in a guillotine choke. And I never got caught in a choke ever again, but uh, it was the birth of Tito Ortiz, I guess you can say. Yeah. Conor McGregor hugs trees before hitting the gym. McGregor is preparing for his UFC return against Michael Chandler this summer and is boosting his spirits by hugging trees and grounding before his workouts. Check this. We walk through the park to the gym with a grounding. Representing elite art of sports, team header and one tree hook. I'll be hugging these trees lately. I'll be hugging the trees lately. It's kind of it's a nice little feeling, yeah. Grounding, tree hugging, all of this nature stuff. Yeah, it feels very good. Now I'm gonna go in and bust some up. Yeah, Cole, got my man, watch up, bud. Good to see you, brother. Oh, there's new weights in, is that? Lovely. I'll let you know, my man. Alright, thank you so much. Rob Dvalishvili gets into a serious car accident. The UFC bantamweight contender was involved in a car accident while riding in an Uber in New York City. Fortunately, Marab and the other passengers emerged unscathed, though he was visibly shaken by the incident. Okay, sit down, man. Down. Two? Okay. Sit right there, sit by your car. Who's in this car? Um, uh, you should be inside. Who's in this still? I'm in New York for one day, a couple hours, and I got in a huge accident. I was in Uber, and our car got hit by some other cars. Look at the damage. I was sitting here. I got hit, thank God. I'm okay. Oh, now my bags are inside. Ronda Rousey takes aim at Brendan Shaw. For many years now, Ronda Rousey has been seen as a polarizing figure in mixed martial arts. While she has done so much for the sport, she also hasn't had the best relationship with fans. In a recent book, Ronda spoke candidly about several things from throughout her career, including previous relationships. For those who don't know, she once dated former UFC fighter Brennan Schaub. In her new book, Our Fight, A Memoir, Rousey revealed some struggles she faced with her ex-boyfriend, writing, Travis had been training with us for a while when it was announced that his first fight as an official member of our team would be against my ex-boyfriend. 
My ex thrived on playing f***ed up mind games with me when I had a fight coming up and insisted we hide that we were dating so he wouldn't be labeled Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. As Travis headed into the matchup, I pretended it wasn't personal. I tried not to be overly involved or emotional. This wasn't my fight. I was hoping he would win, but I was in training camp, so I didn't really think too much more about it. That is, until it was on live TV and I lost my goddamn mind, screaming at the top of my lungs, get him Travis, while punching the arm of the person on the couch next to me. When Travis knocked him out at the end of the first round, I didn't think he could get any more gratifying. My ex covered up on the ground while Travis pounded away on him, the referee waved the match over. Then, Travis towering over the crumpled, semi-conscious body of my ex, leaned down and whispered something in his ear. His words were indiscernible to the camera, but I swear I could hear Travis's voice saying, Ronda says fuck you. Sean O'Malley FaceTimes Ryan Garcia while playing Call of Duty During a recent live stream on Twitch, O'Malley FaceTimed Garcia to discuss their potential fight and things got a bit heated. Uh, Ryan Garcia is on the Jake Paul podcast right now. Should I FaceTime him? Yeah, I'm FaceTiming him right now, G. Buddy Ryan. No mother. Big Ryan, what's the deal here? Congratulations on beating Devin Haney. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I could beat Devin though. What do you think about that? If, if you want to be real, but listen, if you're being a if you want to be, if you want to be real though, in reality, realistically, I could kill you in minute. No, no, no. Literally, I could kill you though. See, you're all talk though. That's all talk. That's not real. Real life shit. I would. You. And you know that, and that's gotta make you feel like a bitch. Because what if I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty confident. How? Ah, that's wild, buddy. It's just crazy you could talk like that, but you know that I could kill you. No, but I would, I would, I would box you because that's actually competitive. A real fight, not competitive, not even a little bit. What weight would you want to box at, though? What weight you want an MMA fight at? I fight at 35, but you I can fight at. We can do whatever you want. That shit's easy. 45, 45 works. Because I'll, I'll beat you in MMA easy, and then we can box. Okay. Let's make it happen. I'm going to go out there, do what I need to do against Mirab, put his lights out. Hey, I, I know you're going to win. I know you're going to Yeah, Mirab sucks. That's easy. All right, well, I'll f*** you up later, G. Peace out. Right, Time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Facebook and was posted by Robert. The second place meme was found over on IG and was posted by Dro MMA Dro. And the top picked meme was also found over on Instagram and was posted by Daily Dose MMA. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.